So I was trying to do electrolysis and I had a battery charger, 12 volt uh, car battery charger, but they were all automatic. You needed to have a battery to make them work. So I was actually able to modify one of the ones that I had to uh, give steady about 14 volts of DC out full time without the need of a battery. So uh, here's how I did it. This is a smart 12 volt battery charger for a car. You just hook the leads up to it and it automatically starts charging. But the problem with this is that it's no good for doing electrolysis with because it needs a battery in line for these leads to have 12 volt DC output. So what I'm gonna try to do is turn this into a manual 12 volt DC out full time power supply. There are two screws here and here and then uh, these feet pop off. One, two, three, four more screws there. And this is attached to this board right here. So I, uh, I just unhooked that, which bypasses this circuit board. And now I'm gonna see, I'm gonna take my multimeter and I'm gonna plug it in and uh, see what kind of readings I get on this circuit board. This side here is the ACN side and 120 volts AC goes through here and it comes out of this thing as 18 volts and at some point it gets converted to 12 but if you look here I can take a reading off of this piece right here and it shows that there's 19.5 volts so I undid the lead the positive lead there for the uh, 12 volt out jumper which is there and I'm gonna drill the hole. I'm just gonna attach that lead, which goes to that clip. Just gonna bypass all that stuff and connect it directly to that piece there that I was getting 18 volts out of. So I'm hoping it turns this thing into an 18 volt power supply, which should be fine for electrolysis. Got the lead hooked up. So now I'm gonna plug it in and see what my reading is. Just plugged it back in. Haven't taken a reading yet, but there's the leads there. And what I'm hoping I get is, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna get 18 volts across these two leads. So let's see. Nineteen point five volts DC. I plugged this piece back in, which is the cover. It goes into that there, and uh, I wanted to see if I was still going to get the same readings whenever that was plugged in. Because if I do, I'll keep it plugged in. And uh, interesting, but still good. Sixteen point five volts. If I change this here, did it do anything? 15 amp. Toggling through the uh, battery type here. Doesn't seem to be changing anything. But, uh, yeah. Looks like it's going to work. So, I finally got a charger that works. I was able to convert this automatic one to a full about 13 volt out um, power supply dc power supply so now we've got the red hooked up to this guy the piece of rebar and the black is hooked up to that uh shovel handle we found and we're currently under electrolysis pretty cool